Welcome to my podcast, uh, Film Talk. Um, today, in this episode, I'm going to be reviewing Top Gun Maverick. I have just been to see it and I cannot begin to even explain how amazing it was. Um, it really, like, it really just came to life with emotions, energy. It thrived so much. The soundtrack helped build it incredibly. And just the camera work, the, the, the flying just really, it boosted it onto another level that I just felt like, I was worried that the film wouldn't reach a level of expectation, but it reached beyond that. It was just amazing. The fit between characters was, it was really shown throughout. I just felt like, I just felt it wasn't, a, like, I felt it wasn't just a reunion of Top Gun. I felt it was a reunion, a reunion of characters, and I felt like the emotion between the characters were really connecting. And I just felt it really showed the feelings between the pilots and just how they grow on to each other. And just it just shows their trust in each other. And I just thought it was amazing. This film honestly had me on the edge of my seat. Like just it was a roller coaster of emotions. It was just there was so many emotions coming out of it. And I feel like to be enjoyed on the big screen was a definite positivity of this. Like it just it was amazing. And I just feel like it was just done so well. And with the new technology of these days, compared to the 80s, I felt if this was made earlier, it wouldn't have reached the limit that it did today. And I just felt the technology, the crew, the cast, the casting was amazing. And it really portrayed just exactly what you would want Top Gun Maverick to portray relationship between Maverick and Penny and then Maverick and Rooster just is something that they've made look as unbreakable like their connections would just never fail and I just feel like for them to then reflect that onto cinema just gives the best and most comforting feeling that you can get off the screen and the angles the the just the wideness of the screen the screen size i just thought it was amazing and i would rate this five star and it's just it's just way better than i ever imagined that this film could be and with the music, so like I mentioned, the soundtrack really thrived it. I felt that the music, like it did, it did have Danger Zone and Top Gun Anthem, which we all heard in the 1986 Top Gun. But the idea of having those songs come back made you feel that you were in a, you were in a space that was very familiar, but different. So you know that you're in a space that is familiar, comfortable, but you don't know what the story is going to, like, is going to show. And I love that. I just, I love the familiar, uh, the, like, just the, just the familiar feeling of just sitting there in the cinema feeling like you've been here before, you've seen this before, but it's got a different story. And it's way, way far into time. I just, from the original, I just thought it was amazing. And I really, I really do recommend it. I feel if you can see it on the big screen, go. Go see it on the big screen because it is so worth it. If you, if you can't, that's fine. But I just feel like on the big screen is just an experience that you would just, have to experience because it just it gives it much more 
like grip and emotion and just I've honestly I it just wow thank you for listening to my podcast and if you enjoyed this episode please make sure to stay in tune for my next episodes coming up